I want you to think about the people in your lives that you know who have changed jobs in the past year or two. And I want to know this. Why are people switching? I want you to call out in a word or two some answers. And we're going to start with this side of the room since I landed here first. Somebody over here, why are people switching? Terrible management. He went right at it. First answer. <laughs> Thank you. Why else? More flexibility. Why else? More challenges. More challenges. Less stress. Less stress. Family. Family. Better pay. Better pay. More money. People over here are going to start to get mad at me because I'm letting this side of the room get all the good first answers. Why else are people switching? Better retirement. Better work environment. Keep going nice and loud, people in the back. Better boss. Work-life balance, keep going. Anything else? Working remotely. Working remotely, remote work. Shorter hours, anything else? A job with no weekends. Got it. All right. In that 90 seconds that we just took, how many different answers did you hear? 25? 30? It sure sounds like there are a lot of different reasons why people are switching. But I'm here to tell you that there really aren't. The truth is, nearly every answer that you just gave rolls up to a bigger idea. And that bigger idea is this. People are switching jobs to improve their quality of life. For some people, that's better pay. For some people, that's a better boss, or a better commute, or remote work, or getting weekends back, or more fulfilling work, or better career trajectory, or getting to work from home. But nearly every single answer that we just pulled out together, in one way or another, was about people looking for what we call an upgrade. And this is the first myth that we need to debunk together. What's happening in the labor market is not that people are quitting, it's that they're switching, and more specifically, they're upgrading. They're upgrading their quality of life. It is harder than ever before to find and keep devoted people at work, in large part due to a massive recalibration taking place around how work fits into people's lives. The truth is that the era of trying to find the best person for the job is over. At this moment, we have to create the best job for the person. COVID didn't cause this. People looking for an upgrade? We've spent the better part of 40 years wearing out the workforce. People are burned out, overworked, and underpaid, and they're done. They're tired. They said, I had enough. They're tired of having to crack the laptop after dinner, after doing laundry, after helping with homework, just to keep their head above water. They're tired of going to work and working for a boss who doesn't treat them well, working at a location that is understaffed, having to bring that stress and that pain and that suffering home. They're tired. And they've gone looking for an upgrade. And so... This is the mindset shift that is required if you really want to become what we call a destination workplace. You have to accept that right now, there is no staffing shortage. There's a great job shortage. Because there are organizations that have figured this out. There are organizations who are innovating around how work fits into our lives, who are saying if we could create an employee experience that delivers a higher quality of life compared to what they've had before, they will join us. We become the destination. And they stop struggling to fill positions. 